What are the top crypto coins to have on your radar in 2023? Well, here are the ones that I am watching and why. By the way, this is a conservative list. If we get a market rally in 2023, then a lot of lower cap altcoins could pump like absolutely crazy, giving 10, 20x returns and outperform the coins that I'm going to talk about in this video. Also, I do own some of these coins. As always, you can find my full disclosure statement and portfolio down below in the description. Also, also, the mark. By the way, this is a conservative list. If we get a market rally in 2023, then a lot of lower cap altcoins could pump like absolutely crazy, giving 10, 20x returns and outperform the coins that I'm going to talk about in this video. Also, I do own some of these coins. As always, you can find my full disclosure statement and portfolio down below in the description. Also, also, the market bottom for crypto may very well not be in yet. A lot of people are still calling for lower lows in the stock market, which probably leads to lower lows in crypto markets. So be careful before aping into anything. This is my watch list, not my run out and put your life savings into it list. Okay? Okay? So let's start off by talking about Polygon. Man! 2022, what a huge year for Polygon. So many insane partnerships from Starbucks to Instagram and many, many more. Over 37,000 dApps currently running on Polygon. It's a major player in the dApp space, it's a major player in the crypto space. Polygon has even flipped the Binance Smart Chain in daily transactions. But can 2023 be another huge year for Polygon? I think the answer is yes. And while I have no idea what massive partnerships Polygon has lined up and it's going to be announcing, although I suspect there's going to be some more without a doubt. But what we do know is coming is ZKEVM. This is their layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. ZKEVM. This could be a whole new major catalyst for the Matic token. Because although Ethereum will be used for gas fees on the ZKEVM network, Matic will be used for staking and for governance. Pretty cool. Layer twos are basically the talk of the town right now. So I expect the release of ZK EVM when it does come, we don't have an exact release date yet, to be a damn big deal. Now on the topic of layer twos, of course, we need to talk about Arbitrum. And I know there's no Arbitrum token yet, but there will be. It's going to be an absolutely insane airdrop when it happens. And look, there is so much money on Arbitrum right now. So many whales that someone with just like a thousand bucks in their account probably is not going to end up getting a super huge airdrop. You might, depends on how Arbitrum decides to do it in the end. And I hope that you do, if you do have a smaller account, it's not all just a whale game. But we do need to keep expectations in check about the size of this airdrop because everyone has been expecting this airdrop for a while and everyone has been using Arbitrum. And many have positioned themselves to try and get a big payday when it happens. That being said, Arbitrum has been a leading layer two player for the Ethereum network. Although currently Optimism is doing slightly more daily transactions than Arbitrum, but Arbitrum does pretty consistently has been maintaining about twice as much value locked in DeFi on chain when compared to Optimism. That being said, do not buy the listing FOMO pump when we do get an Arbitrum token finally listed. If you did not get the airdrop, then the listing is when everyone who did get the airdrop is cashing out. So be careful. Also, I will be keeping a keen eye on the Arbitrum season narrative and the new launches and farms on this hot layer two. Things like GMX, which were super hot and outperformed the market. Now let's talk about new chains, in particular Aptos, the Solana killer. Down bad already since it launched in a bear market, but actually Aptos kind of reminds me of Solana. So when Solana launched, it was trading for like a dollar, ended up going down to like 50 cents. It was just another blockchain and a C where no one really wanted to buy anything really in crypto space, certainly not the new hot shiny blockchain. The bear market was still in full swing. The COVID crash had just happened, but Solana like Aptos had big VC backing and the VCs dumped so much money into the Solana ecosystem that it pumped like crazy. My gut is telling me they're gonna try to do the same thing with Aptos, probably Sui Network as well when it comes out. Basically, they want an ROI on their investment and they're gonna dump in a lot of money to try and jumpstart that ecosystem, thus pumping up the Aptos coin, just like they did with Solana. Why wouldn't they try to do it again with Aptos? That being said, not really keen on buying Aptos at the current prices. I would be more interested on basically lower prices, under a dollar, maybe even closer to 50 cents. Those price levels, 
maybe I'd be tempted to buy myself a bag of Aptos. Now, before I tell you about the last two coins, just a reminder that if you don't yet have an account over on Bybit, you need to get yourself one. It is the best exchange for trading crypto, 0% spot market fees. And you use that link down below in the description, you'll be able to clean up to 30 thousand dollars in deposit bonuses yes that's crazy yes that's true and you can find out why over 10 